Hello everyone, this is Aaron. I play Magic way too much. Node 2, event 2. Um, win with 20 or less hit points. Cast 6 or more supports during the fight. Um, they have 2 supports. The first one is uh, when the support enters the board, each creature you control gains 2-2. Two, two. Overload 1, each creature gets 1-1. One, one. Uh, second support. When the support enters the board, energize two. Overload one. The first creature your opponent controls is disabled until the beginning of next turn. They have a few spells. This is a dangerous one. Um, X gems are converted to green, where X is the amount of your cards multiplied by four. Uh, and then they have seven creatures. Seven. That's a lot. So when this creature enters the battlefield, each creature you control gets three, three. And it also converts some gems to green. Here we have... When this creature enters the battlefield or deals damage, energize X, where X is the amount of creatures you control. So a lot of energy out here. Every card's brought out energy, just about. When this creature enters the battlefield, energize two, overload one, gain three mana. So that's going to speed their hand up quite a bit. Um, here we have a 6-6 six, six that uh, takes two energized gems off the board. 6-6, uh, six, six, when this creature deals damage to a plane, planeswalker, energize one. And that's going to get fast, get big fast, because it gains 1-1. One, one. Uh, this does a couple different things. And energize 2 and gains lifelink. So those are the seven creatures. So let's take a look at this. And I'm playing Arlen here. And maybe that's a mistake. I'm going to try something different here. So let's see what happens. I think with my werewolves transforming and things... Uh, I'm going to have some luck. I have some kill creature cards in there, and maybe I can get down to less than 20, but that's going to be... A... Okay, this is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, they start with 166. Um, each creature gains hexproof and prevent damage until the beginning of next round. You've noticed none of those cards had defender except the one that had multiple abilities. Um, I'm going to try to do Village Messenger or a creature first and then play my big creature second because they um, can disable my first creature quite often. Um, they get a big bonus for green. Nothing else matters. I took all the other uh, cards out of the deck for like converting things to uh, green. Normally in this deck I would uh, convert a lot of stuff to green. A lot of gems. Um, my biggest goal here um, is just to is just to get out the six supports. Um, maybe I started a little fast there. Um, I can actually see that I started quite fast, but I'd really rather not lose. Uh, especially, I know I lost this one last time. I won't cast that though. Actually, this is start off really fast, which is good uh, overall. Um, let's try to get six supports out while I'm doing 20 damage a turn this is going to be really tough actually uh, ending with less than 20 may not be possible now uh, I'm actually not going to kill him right now although I am going to queue that up and yeah, it doesn't really matter I would normally use the third ability here so I could turn this around and um, so I could start transforming this guy and killing their creatures. And that was actually my thinking here is that I would start really killing their creatures when I needed to. Um, maybe I'm just going to win fast. Oh, here we go. I need this desperately. Um, good. And I have so much. Um, hmm. I'm just going to take loyalty there. Um, I'm thinking about killing my own guy here since I can bring him back out. Um, it might be a mistake, but you know, in these events, you're really 
trying to win, but win slowly. So, um, Yeah, because I'm going to wait a turn and see what happens. Um, I'm doing 21 damage a turn. I got three turns left to get five. Uh, to get five supports out. Well, I'm drawing two a turn. So I'm actually going to. This is going to energize three, and then I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. So actually, I'm going to use that one and that one, and so I'm going to energize three and get rid of that. I'm pretty sure that will work. Good. And... So I've cast three. I'm gonna kill my own guy here, so I don't. So I have more than three turns. Okay. I. If I take twelve damage, I'm okay. I'm going to get rid of this so I can draw as many as I can next time. And I'm going to do that only because it was actually, was actually kind of thinking it was safe in terms of not giving them green matches, but that did not work out. Come on, there's one support and there's two supports, okay. So let's see if I can get 12 mana out here. And I'm pretty safe, relatively safe. No, I thought it was gonna get a green match there if it didn't match four. Um, I'm not gonna kill anything there. Remember, he has that ability, so I can't. This killed me last game. So he's going to do 18 damage to me. Okay, so I have... I'm lucky there. I should have actually gotten rid of one more card. So I need to cast both these guys, which is 10. Oh, good. Okay, so let's do that and see where we're at. So I need two mana, which shouldn't be to trouble. And then they're going to do 18, so I need two turns. So I'm going to open that up and here we go. I need green matches. I'll do that. Okay, so Don't want to do that. Maybe I, cause I forgot about the plus four, plus four. He gets lifelink here. Um, oh, shit. Okay, so... Well, that actually turned out in my favor. Um, my big thing here is that he's going to make it himself hex-proof. So I'm going to do 25 damage. He's going to do 12 to get me down to 10. Um, and I don't have anything to do damage to myself. Okay, so I think this will work out unless I grossly miscalculated or he casts something that'll do 10 damage to me extra. Um, I'm really worried about his mana, not mine. Uh, green and white, I don't see any of those matches. Since I don't see any of those matches, I'm going to match something here on the left side just out of the way so that the board doesn't get, like, mangled, if that makes any sense. Uh, I didn't want to, like, have a big cascade and then allow him still casting two things. So...
Good, and he didn't get another turn. And I'm going to do damage to him. Okay, great. So, uh, let's just call it a day. Any match. Why not kill his guy? And if this is interesting, because target creature, that does not count as a... Oh, it's hexproof. Because it was hexproof for a whole turn. And there we go. Okay. So, very dangerous. Very, very dangerous. Um, if you're in question at all about uh, what to do, I would not go for the um, under 20 life. I know that um, last time this event came up, that really killed me. I tried, and it just didn't work. And I lost that battle. Um, I really would probably have had a slower start if I was to do it over again, but it was hard to say no to getting all my creatures out right away. And... I'm going to show you the deck I was using. So, um... I did leave Fertile Thicket in, uh, but I took out all... I usually have some other things in there that give me green mana and our green gems on the board, um, Inner Struggle. Um, we did not see um, this come out, and this was to hurt me. Um, so that was kind of my plan to get me under 20. Thanks, guys. Have a good day, and good luck with the event.